guys, it's Josie and today I have a super exciting review for you guys and I'm trying I'm gonna try not to like ramble my my mouth out because I could just talk for years and years and years about this book, but I'm going to be reviewing Jones Girls and Dana Supply by Jordan Sonnet Blake. This is probably in my top three favorite books and it's just amazing. It's a middle grade book, but you can read it as an adult and fall in love with it. You can read it as a high schooler and fall in love with it. Anybody can read this book and fall in love with it. Jordan Sonnenblick is the author of Zen and the Art of Faking It, Notes from a Midnight Driver, Notes of a Midnight Driver, just side note, absolutely amazing book, and the sequel to this book, After Ever After. Now this book is pretty short. It's 272 pages, but I say it's short because the story, you become so sucked into the story that it seems like it's only 100 pages because you just, you cannot put this book down. I've seen boys in my class and in my classes who hate reading with a fiery passion, but they cannot stop reading this book. That says something. So thank you, Jordan Sonnenblick, for shutting some of the boys in my class up for a couple of hours because this book... It's just, it's such an amazing story. And if you don't understand the title, the title will be explained in the book, just sporadically throughout the book. But this book is about the Alper family, more specifically about Stephen and his brother Jeffrey. Stephen is a regular eighth grade boy. He likes girls and he goes to school and he is a drummer. He can play the drums like nobody's bananas. He's an amazing drummer and he plays in a high school all county or all city band and he's just, he loves the drums and his 8th grade year is just going how he wants it to and how any normal 8th grade boy would want it to and then his 4 year old brother is struck by cancer and it really changes Steven. He has to grow up and grow into the role of not only the brother of a cancer patient, but the nurturer and the protector and hold his family together when his family is literally falling apart. And he is just such a strong boy, but yet in all of the madness that goes on, he is sarcastic and he is funny and he makes you laugh. And it just, he, he makes, Jordan Sonnenblatt makes the story of cancer so enjoyable to read that it's just it's it blows my mind this book literally blows my mind which is it's pretty hard to blow my mind and it, it tells the story of Steven's year through eighth grade and how he he has to balance all of these aspects of social life home life his brother's life and it, it just it's amazing how you how to see it through the eyes. You think you always say, "Oh, it's a cancer patient. Oh, I feel so bad for him." But you never think what it's like to be the brother or the sibling of someone who has cancer. It's absolutely amazing. I think there's a lot of themes in this book. One being that, you know, you you have you you don't know what you have until you're struck by something so bad and you really learn to appreciate your life and everything you have. There's literally nothing negative I can say about this book. It's absolutely an amazing, 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 amazing read. And the ending is it's really good. If you, you feel bad throughout the whole book and you laugh and you cry and you, you have all of these emotions and in the end you're just like, wow, that ended amazing. Wow. I just, I, I, I love this book so much and I would recommend it to literally anybody. I mean, I'm going to give it to my mom to read, I'm going to give it to my brother to read. You know, anybody can read this book and anybody can fall in love with this book. And I think the rating for me is kind of a no-brainer. It's a 5 out of 5 stars all the way. Love it, love it, love it. And you really get to see the the experiences of a brother of a cancer patient and it's amazing how there's all these supporting characters throughout like his his drum teacher his girlfriend his crush and it's just it's it's amazing how all of these characters come to these smaller characters come together to support the bigger characters and the bigger purpose and I, I think it's amazing so I definitely encourage you to read Drums Girls and Dangerous Pie by Jordan Sonnenblick you will not be disappointed and I definitely wasn't so let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and uh, 
please read it. If I, if you read one book this year, read Drums, Girls, and Native Pie. I just absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs this video up. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.